Hello, I'm in the Robert Matsui. Oh, Matsui Park. I'm going to the Target uh, individual rally on tomorrow, Saturday. So I came over for one night. I'm staying over there at the hotel down by that bridge. I don't want to name the hotel because, you know, I'm not sponsoring anything. All the hotels are down there. Then you have to walk back this way to go to the uh, state capitol tomorrow morning. So I'm walking down there. In the meantime, they got some homeless people who live out here. These guys are just fishing. The homeless people was down over there, and they live over there. But that's not my concern today. My concern is I took the plane from New Newark, a connecting plane from Newark to um, Sacramento this morning. It was three hours. And the guy next to me was wearing a hoodie and a beard, a young guy. And and I had I was like my my um my vagina started feeling kind of weird. You know they have this. You know you, you know when they target you. You know it's it's like someone's mel you know molesting your vagina. Not a ex excess, but I you know because I sit there, you're not supposed to have no no feeling down there. So I'm like oh so now they have a new system. They're using the cell phones. To, to turn on your, to target your body parts. So he had his cell phone. you think he's listening to his music, but he wasn't. He had it targeting to me. Yeah, so what I had to do was put my hand, my two hands and covered my vagina area. And when I did that, that's, that feeling went away. I had to sit like that for three hours. Imagine, I can't even go and tell the stewardess or anyone that this guy is doing this to me. Why? Because they would say, oh, you're imagining it and blah, blah, and they would just throw me off the plane or something. Maybe they would move my seat, but the plane was kind of crowded. This is the world we live in. But if we didn't have to live in a world like that, we could live like this, where the sun is nice, and you know, if you're in California, you could go fishing and all that. Instead, I have to put up with nonsense. That's why I decided I'm coming to this rally. I don't know how many people are gonna be there, but I said I'm going, because I don't like people. And then also, when I'm on the public buses now, everyone who has cell phones, who happens to be those perpetrator people, they are using their phones to target your body. So I, um, last week it started these people on the bus, I don't know who they are, I don't know who, they sit there and they start tagging your body, and yeah, I was on a bus the other day, that's when it started last week with this public transportation, you, they target you out and they're sitting there, you don't know who, because everybody got a phone, but they're using the apps now, this is just the new system they got, they don't use the big knapsacks, they still use backpacks and walk around and, and screw you over with their signals, now they're using the cell phone and, get, and they use that app, yeah, so last week when I was on the bus, so whoever it was, targeted my vagina again. They love targeting women's vagina and men's penis because they know we don't like this. So they're using the worst thing that they could bug us with. So anyway, so I was feeling moist or something down there or something. I don't know what they do it. So I have to think my thoughts, make my thoughts say I'm not horny or anything. You know, trying to make you get sexually stimulated while you're on a public transportation bus. I mean, that's ridiculous. So that's what's going on now. So what if it happens to you in the public? Don't scream. Don't go nothing. Just start thinking other thoughts, eventually they're going to stop and give up. That's what happens. So that's what's going on now. They're using the apps to target your vagina or your penis or whatever in public to make you feel uncomfortable in bananas or whatever so you could go and complain. It could lock you up in a, in a cuckoo house. Don't do that. Take care of yourself. Just um, make your thoughts think of other thoughts and then eventually they will stop because they see you're not getting um, agitated or you're not getting horny, whichever the two they were trying, most likely trying to get you agitated. So I don't get agitated, I just wait, and then they stop. They stop, yeah, but they're gonna continue, then they're gonna try the next day, the next day. So, so far it's been like a week. Every time I'm going in public, they're annoying me this past week. Now I went on the plane, and did it too. I was on the bus last time. You know, the only place that you're safe is in your car. <laughs> but I don't drive right now. Or I like, I ride a bicycle. When I'm on my bicycle, I don't have any problems. But even then, they zap you if you're in or, or overhead or wherever. They can zap you on the, from the satellites. <laughs> you know, America and the world has gone so stupid. Why can't we just get along? I mean, just live with all this nonsense. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to go to the rally tomorrow and I'll show some footage of it. I don't know how small it's going to be because a lot of people are scared to come out and talk about it. I'm not one of those people. I've come out much because it's the second year they're having this. They're going to have it again in the spring. I mean, this is spring rally. It's April 26th and 27th. So I only could do the 26th. I know they have the 27th. They added another day for Saturday. It was supposed to be only Friday. Then they added on. But I, I made my bookings already. So I couldn't do another day. So I can't stay over. So what was I going to say? So twice a year. The other year is... Two, I think it's going to be September or August. 
summertime rally or something you go on the site it's called IT springtime rally they're gonna have the like that I'll show it to you in my other video but in the meantime this world just screwed up that's why please people try to go to the rallies when they have it around the world wherever you live and support it and go and stand and you don't have to say anything just stand there the more numbers there are them people know that we're, we exist and it's not um, in our imagination then this thing has to stop because we cannot continue like this annoying each other sexually by zapping you with a, a, a phone app you know ridiculous all right if I want to get horny and turned on I could get a, a, a man. I don't need to be do, using no phone. I don't need that artificial nonsense. It doesn't do anything for me. It just annoys me, you know, to have somebody doing that to me. So I have to put my mind so they stop in another place and then eventually they stop because they're stupid. They're a bunch of fools. And if that don't work, if that don't annoy you, they're going to find something else. They're going to steal your money, beat you, I don't know, break in your house. They do different things. Mine, they know I don't want like that kind of stuff. Where am I? I'm walking over here. Sacramento. My first time in Sacramento. I never came here before. I'm going downtown by where J Street because they're supposed to have a meetup tonight. I don't know if I'm going to because ah, uh, but I'm I don't know. I'm just walking there. <clears throat> okay, but I'm just letting people know. Oh, the train. Just go to the rallies and support it, please. Support these rallies so people know it's not non existent it's real people are harassing us for no reason have a nice day